lot of yeah, the trash. Like the, you know what I'm saying? The Jumbug. Uh, that Jumbug. was just funny, you know? It that's, was just funny. That's hilarious. It was funny and it it, <laughs> it definitely got spot him got him on the on the map until spot he him. got spot and got him. Spot him had got him. <laughs> he got spot and I got him by the laws. I have not heard about him since uh He got shot. He got shot, got got shot up like, and then I think he got he was, arrested or something? Yeah. Because the video is He got hit with all the worst stuff you could get hit with. <laughs> Well, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is what up, though? No. Episode seventy-eight of the ITC podcast. Ooh, you know, yeah. We just did a run in on this mug. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This is the Oots, going, going. Oots edition. That's the episode name. Oots, Oots. Trill Billy Brando here, <laughs> coming at you with the yes. latest rhythm. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. Of all of the house music. Yes, yes. Bogey. Shout out to Dreezy and Beyonce. Yes, yes. Beyonce is like bogey. straight vote. Shout out that to all was, the trap niggas that are about to sample the same house music now because. <laughs> Apparently it's the yes. wave. So you're voguing. So yes, voguing. Y'all already know we we got a chance. If you if you remember the last pod, we were very excited, amped. Oh, I I, I, I will was. never go back Sheesh. to that podcast. That's that one was. episode I will never watch again. Yeah, we were because just, just little did we know. We just didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> like a little kid it's in the candy different. store, anticipation it's, or something. See, it's, a, it's a different type of hype now. Yeah. It's more so like a, you have to be in the mood. To hear some oons oons, you know yeah. what I'm saying. When you're in that right. vibe, I feel it. Mm. You know, it's it's a vibey vibey album. Besides oh. the last two <laughs> tracks, it's just random. Yeah. I love those tracks, but they random as hell. No, it was just it just wasn't. <laughs> Here's put the thing: all the way to backwards know, world. Like, a lot of people were, you know, checked out the reaction. Shout out to all you guys that checked it out. For Patreon sure. and on the main page, it's going crazy. And a, a lot of the comments. Um, or people are like, well, not a lot. It's kind of mixed. Some mm-hmm. people are like, yo, this is uh, two buckets of ass. And then other two people buckets. are like, nope. not two buckets. Um, Damn. Just two. We actually rocking with it because of the house music. I'm a fan of house music. And then there's some people are in the camp that's like, this is not really, this is kind of disrespecting house music exactly. because of the quality of it. And I think mm. we kind of in that camp because I don't really listen to house music like that. Right. So Me neither. I, I can't say that. At least you're being honest about that because yeah. some people. Right. Yeah, I, I personally I, do listen to house music. I, like I said, I kept saying I'm I'm a fan of house music, but I, I heard that the same, literally the same track back to back for like the first <clears> six, and, seven songs. And, I'm like. And and, and don't get me wrong, album, like listening to it, it's not, you know, you got, it's not just house, you know, you got the, what is it, that Baltimore, yeah, New Baltimore, Jersey sound. Yeah. 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 Apparently Chicago, too. The Chicago issue with it Benedict. was how he was also riding on the track. So like mm-hmm. the beats were cool, like, cause that's what, you know, people come for as far as that genre. So mm-hmm. like, that's fine. The issue is when you come back on and you, <laughs> on like four or five different tracks, yeah. like in a row, it starts to sound the same. Like if you, you know, spread these out, add some yeah. bed uh, with squeaks. some other genres in yeah, between. That track right there, yeah. What you were saying, like spreading it out, I think it could have benefited. It would have gave the album some type of breathing room. Yeah. And and then you got to talk about the production. This dude literally can go work with anybody. He has actually, a studio in he, his crib. He actually mm-hmm. did work with some of the top ones. I, I went and like looked to see who he worked with. He had Black Coffee, and that's a that's a really solid mm-hmm. like guy in the dance mm-hmm. scene. And so I was like, he used Black Coffee on a few tracks. And the thing was, when I went and listened to each of them, I didn't listen to the whole album straight up, mm-hmm. and I could appreciate them more separately. Oh, okay. Separately, no, yeah. Flight's Book is so, my favorite like house song. And the there. you know the song yeah. with the bed squeaking, I actually like that song more after not listening to it but back to back. With that's, the, it, that's the <laughs> issue right there. Which just, to to be clear though, we said that in the album yeah. reaction, like we yeah. was just mainly saying. We have to be fair to people that we always Mm -hmm. give, you know, heat to when they sound the exact same on a full project. Because it's hard to listen to a future or the baby or whatever. Um, or whoever that don't like to switch it up on each track, they don't really have a story behind it. Mm -hmm. It's hard to listen to it straight because it really sounds like you're hearing the same song over and over and over. So Mm -hmm. I think that was our biggest gripe because, you know, after the intro, I mean, 2 through 12 was literally... The same thing. You got one little vibe change. I think on what twelve or eleven. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you got sticky, uh, with the bars. Texas go green. But you know, Texas <laughs> go green, which is the first one we liked because number two wasn't really what the it singing, was. The singing at I think time. it was falling. He back. He started trying to hit that yeah. falling back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like the high. So you go from that, that to then. Texas go green, then number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And, and that was the big issue. But some That's people actually appreciate it because they like the vibe already. So they was like, just keep the vibe going so I can keep And that's fine. And, and I was like, that's that fine. For you. That works. It but just wasn't the album that I thought it was going to be. Exactly. And not even just that. Not even just no. that it wasn't the album that I thought it was going to be. Drake has a he's a he's a chameleon. 
So like yeah. when you listen to Drake, you expect him to come on this style and then be like, all right, cool. Next song, I'm gonna have a yeah. different this. Like we expect that out of Drake. Mm-hmm. So like I get it, you know, it was the unexpected, but it also was like it was blah. Like mm-hmm. it was it was boring. Present like it was presented boring yeah. in my eyes. Like I don't I didn't like like even with it being in that genre, like I listen to that genre personally. Mm-hmm. I listen to people like K Trinata and uh, Black Coffee and like different other d- different artists basically right. that have a different like bounce or house style. Right. So like when I heard it, it felt kind of like it was kind of cliche, almost like just generic. Yeah. yeah, that style. It wasn't like above and beyond that style, and I don't expect him to master it. But at the same time, I expect something. You know, great out of Drake. It's he Drake. didn't add nothing to it. He just yeah. yeah. He's the, like, let me let me just hit the bass. Yeah. And this is what y'all get. And like, people that like the genre are gonna like it. Like, it's gonna get remixes in the EDM clubs and stuff mm-hmm. like that. It's it wouldn't. Get it wouldn't have got as much beef, bro, if he wouldn't have added liability. Uh, I agree. Liability. That is the biggest. Stay to if you stay to the theme. I think it would have been fine. Like as far as like what people you would have been like. Seemed right. like you were aiming yeah, for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you added like one of the hottest tracks. Of the summer on there, and it had nothing to do with Jimmy the vibe. Cooks, yeah. yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Cooks. Cooks, liability, both of them, and then it was, and then not only that, you you do it at the end, almost like, yeah, I still can rap. I was just playing yeah. with y'all, like it was like a almost like an April Fool's joke, like yeah. one of them. <laughs> yeah, that's all it was. Yeah. So yeah, you know, <laughs> he got the, he got the album coming out next week. It's cool. Yeah. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's supposed to be dropping something later on this year. And yeah, I heard. Like, like it's one of those things where we get it. There's nothing wrong with trying something different. And yeah, you know, it's gonna be a letting, electro Knicks. So we was letting yeah, people know yeah. that you know, rock. like that was rock merengue. <laughs> rock, uh, Drake with him in a merengue. Yeah, y'all yeah. keep calling him Poppy. <laughs> see, see, look. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah. Hopefully, Chris there. Brown delivers for us this Friday. Mm-hmm. Right. I need a one dance. I need Chris yeah. Brown to come up with some heat for me because Drake didn't. What do I'm it hearing for so me. far from Chris. Yeah, yeah. That we embrace. He in his I bag, bro. We song. embrace. Wills fall Man. off. Uh, if I should, I like Iffy. I like everything that was dropped. I've liked so far. So, so we bag. will see. And then apparently, uh, you know, Beyonce dropped one of her tracks uh, for her upcoming project. And, and apparently, it had, was similar to the same. Yeah, vibe. It had the yep. house vibe, you know, house music vibe, and uh, social media does what social media does. Of course, people were praising it. Oh man, this sounds like it's really good. You know what I'm saying? Because Beyonce got a lot of great fans. But see, the thing about Beyonce also, that's not really too far off from some stuff she's done before. Mm-hmm. It's not that crazy. It's crazy. She can actually sing. But yeah, so. she can sing too. Yeah, so. yeah that yeah. too. It's like, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that too. Works. That's key. It kind of sounded more, <laughs> more executed better how yeah. Beyonce exactly. did it. Exactly. And it was, Drake. and let's be honest, it was one track. Mm-hmm. Yep. So who knows? It could. Yeah. It wasn't an overwhelming. Let me. But give I mean, you. if we would have heard one track from the project that he was dropping, then we probably would have went in it different. Yeah. Like we would have been like, okay. If we would have heard yep. Sticky first. Imagine yeah, hearing we Jimmy Cooks knew. first and then hearing the album though. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man. That's kind of what I felt like though. That oh yeah. I thought I was gonna hear Jimmy Cooks. You really got disrespected. Yeah. It was just yeah, like, that wow. that would have been uh, uh Holy interesting uh, uh video. Holy. But I will no, say No, don't do this, man. Like, wait a minute. I will do, say do. this, you know, people were like, Yeah, Beyonce. You said eleven more times like I didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> yeah. And he finished it off with it yeah. too. He just kept sure. Falling back. Yeah. But uh yeah. Ross Fans. say Ross say no. Oh, nah, Stop nah, it. Nah, nah, it. <laughs> oh, nah. we never we never skipped through an album. I think we skipped through some features. But that is a first. I mean that's fair. We were skipping through. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the Beyonce, you know, Beehive. They were a lot of them were liking what what they were hearing from it, and then of course there was people like, oh y'all, what what happened to keeping the same energy with uh what we heard with Drake? Her and, rollout was better. I wasn't expecting. I had no expectations. Expect- no expectations. Out, you don't right. have expectations. Yeah. Same with Drake in a way because you. I mean, you have expectations, but it's it's so in a you window. You expect it to already it's be. It's gonna great. be either one or two things or three. You either mm-hmm. gonna be rapping, you are gonna be singing, or you are gonna be rapping and singing. Mm-hmm. You know. So that's what we was in a. You know, we was. In I mean, and he was singing, I, but I expected great still. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. I'm talking about like R and B type. Yeah. Singing, but I think that this was just. And he's done. Like, but see, that's the thing, though. Even on more life, like more life, he spread it out, got out of his bag. I mean, that wasn't one of the favorites, of course. Oh no, it wasn't. But um, a lot of he, still, got like, in his he got bag. out of his I like bag. More life, bro. Like, and he had some tracks like Passion Fruit and mm-hmm. stuff that has there a was different some stuff vibe. that worked. Yeah. That worked uh, for what he was trying to do, but, he, but he, it was a variety. He mixed it. Yep. It was a variety. That's the key word. It was packaged better than. To yeah. me, for a, a, a it was crowd, a better playlist for a crowd. A yeah, playlist. no, it was yeah. it was because no this playlist 
true definition. Well, he says this is a studio album. No, it's a playlist. What? That's no, what I don't really care what he said. It at a studio I'm album. telling you, More Life yeah, and Honestly, never mind, was definitely a playlist. <laughs> I think yeah. he was on uh, Projector <laughs> Cell 210. <laughs> You said, oh, yeah, oh we're going to guarantee you're going to get his, you know, his, his I saw somebody that the other day. I was like, it's Drake. Yeah. Like, yeah. Are y'all retarded? Like, someone's like, well, his numbers don't lie. I'm like, that doesn't really matter. It's, yeah, he was going to sell regardless. Yeah. And then he could have just been on that hole and just. He could have yeah. literally been saying. And not only that, he yeah, hopped into too. a genre of that, that money comes in. Like, that's mm-hmm. that's that's what a money at. Like, nope. Hey, bro, it is what it is. Do he, you think? he did what he had to do. I respect it. Yeah. I, I but get for it. me, uh, it is. It's so not no. my. It's the lowest rated Drake album, Drake oh, project sure, I've ever me. heard. For me personally, yeah, personally, it's, it's that's the after, lowest. After giving it two or three more listens, I think mm-hmm. I did. I uh, I went up to about a two and a half from a one. <laughs> no, I think I originally had it like a two or two and a half. Yeah, I it's, had two and a half. It's still at a two and a half. I mean, just them yeah. three. Yeah, songs. mine went up to y'all. So. The only <laughs> thing I'm starting to like more <laughs> is sticky incomplete. a little bit. <laughs> he said it's still incomplete. <laughs> No, you ain't even went back, did you? <laughs> you didn't even go back, did you? To, to be determined. <laughs> Jimmy Cook. Of course you wouldn't listen to Jimmy Cook. Nah, that Jimmy that Cook. That shit hard, boy. That hard hell shit. slaps. I was on the way to a dinner for Father's Day. Oh, that Sheesh. Uh, we was pulling up to um, That's a, good way to pull up. a restaurant on West Timer. And um, yeah, through that Jimmy, Tri- hey, Jimmy Cook. What album, I will say I is. I opened the sunroof. Mm-hmm. The chopped and screwed Chocolate version man. of this album. It's, it's about a four and a half, five. The okay. fact that they made a Chop and Screwed album to house to. music. Is just, oh, absolutely. Chop Not Slop well, app. Yeah, uh, if you don't know, oh, Chop okay. Not Slop app, if you don't know, uh, oh, okay. get the so app they, on your phone and um, you can hear any kind of Chop and Screwed music, whether you're in Houston or not. I'm going to have to check it out, Chop Not Slop. Cause yeah, I, nah, you told us about that last time. One of my favorite Chop Not Slop uh, albums they did from Drake is to Take Care. That absolutely. shit oh, yeah. goes so hard, oh, bro. Take Care has always been that a classic. Take care, that's the only way I used to listen to my music back then. Same. Bro, underground creams chopped and screwed. Man, that's shit. For those who don't know, do, do, man, do, do, Chop do, do, Not Slop is a group of chop, individuals. Chop, 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 chop stars. Chop, chop, they, yeah, yeah, not everybody yeah, can yeah, chop and screw music. People think absolutely. it's easily. No, it's it's, it's so, harder than you actually bro, think. Go type, bro, go type in just a random chop and screw and listen to some regular people trying to chop it. Like, I've heard some bad chops. Yeah, you yeah, don't know yeah. where to chop. Like, they, yeah. I've heard people mess up the chop, change yep. the beat on you. You'd be like, dang, you gotta bro. know what you Not have doing. the right uh, depth of the, the voice. And mm-hmm. like, it's just. I want to say one of my favorite uh, Screwed and Chop tracks right now from Drake might be Girls Love Beyonce. Oh, Ooh, yeah. That's yeah. Actually, yeah. And then they got to yeah. have the purple. Nice, they got to yeah, have gotta the, the purple, purple cover. Got to be the purple cover. If it ain't. It's not. It's not chopped up right. It's all you can already tell. It's a good chance. The purple, they, purple cover art. Because when they do it right, uh, the one I listen to uh, the most, they add the actual uh, sample from Beyonce in them. Yeah, yeah, that's. Damn, bro. I'm like, hold on, it would be screwed too. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, bro, bro, uh, and it, and them uh, perfect chops when you know they coming like that feel. Yeah, like, just like yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Shot so, all in tips. It's a Southern thing. It's a Southern wood. thing, Shotty. I'm about to go listen to that when I leave. Bro. It's a Southern thing, Shotty. <laughs> Pull up to the drop. You wouldn't good. understand. It's good. Well, appreciate you. Can you turn your music down? I mean, damn. You no, know. I'm gonna turn it up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gots to turn it up. Bro, I love R and B albums, Child and Screw, man. Oh yeah, definitely. R and B albums, no matter who. Like I used to listen to Pretty Rick. No, no, no. It was uh, what's his name? The main guy, uh, Marcus. Uh, Marcus Houston. Uh, no, no, no. Is it Marcus? The main guy. Uh, the, pretty Ricky. the main Baby one of Pretty Ricky. Guy. Oh, okay. Um, uh, like I can't remember his name, but he had his he had so a solo pleasure, album. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Oh, there we go. Pleasure, yeah, P. Yeah. And oh, he yeah. had a solo album, and that whole Chopped yeah. and Screwed is mm-hmm. different. Like <laughs> it's one of the best Chopped and Screwed R and B albums. It's, it's, it's a it's a southern thing. It's man. It's so I love it, bro. You haven't yeah. just tried out, man. Just listen to your your favorite song that you like. They listen to regular. What the fuck is this? Why y'all listen to music so slow? What the fuck is this, B? But the same. Got to be in. A vibe. It's a vibe, no, right? It, it, they would. Some people would be like that, but you got to think about it. New York takes styles from us. You got other people taking styles from oh, us yeah. all over the place. Right. Like it's constant. Like think no, about it. ASAP Rocky East, literally. East Coast BGM, yeah. His best album, his best uh, mixtape, is literally influenced by us. Yeah, that purple swag screws. Screw I ain't gonna lie. It's hard it as hell. Yeah, that was mm. a sick ass beat. <laughs> it was. Bro. I was saying it like, damn, I wish a Houston artist would have had that this whole, beat. <laughs> that whole, that whole, his whole album, first album, is just love. Lo- what is it? Is it Love Live? Is that the first? No, I think Long Live ASAP. Is like that, that the first one? I can't remember which. Whatever the first one it's is. It's with him on like, and he got the American flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever the first one is, that chopped and screwed is crazy. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> it's a culture thing, man. It it's is a, a culture thing, culture, bro. Just like 
people have the jersey mixes. Exactly. The A Bay Bay is a jersey mix. Mm -hmm. That's a jersey mix. Yep. And it's it's caught mainstream attention. Even though the jersey mixes were Speaking started. of that, y'all seen um, um uh, Hurricane Chris took advantage of that? Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, shit, I'm, I'm thought, he, I, mean, I thought he was in jail. Well, I think, well, he clearly I made a video to it. I don't it. know, yeah, but yeah, he made a video to it. He's out on bond. Or, or yeah, he, he made a video to it, and, mm -hmm. and shoot, he hopped on the wave. That was right. smart. I think he got the the people that created the dance in there in the video. I'm oh, even say. better. I hope yeah. so. Hey, make yeah, his money off the, what they using since they using your stuff. Yeah, boy, uh, yeah. use my <laughs> stuff, boy. Yeah. And the same thing, like, this, a lot of them Jersey mixes, they just use samples. Oh yeah, just whole lot. Switch it up, and I I got introduced that a few years ago. I was like, okay, yeah, and you can hear on the Drake album. Mm -hmm. There was some type of That's controversy because uh, the music uh, people were feeling like <laughs> Drake didn't really use some of the Jersey like DJs and artists that mm -hmm. kind of created that wave. He didn't put them on the album or whatnot, or like even reached out to them type that type situation. So certain people were feeling the kind of way about it because it's like Makes if you're gonna sense. do yeah. it, fill away, you know check away. in. Dog. Yeah. If you're gonna do it, pay homage like Tory Lanez did, according to how y'all mm -hmm. said. Yeah. Uh, based yeah. on the freestyle, I appreciate he that. Paid, mm -hmm. Paying paid. homage to Zero, he hopping paid on the track, zero, yeah. saying I hope I did you justice. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I respect that. I'm glad he did that because if he too. wouldn't have done that, it would have just been like, damn. All right, bro. Like, nah, he, I think he's smarter than that because ain't no way. But now he been he been showing love to Houston, bro. Oh yeah, I love when people go to another state that they probably not from and they they show love there and they pay homage as well to the people that you know you know created the the sounds in mm -hmm. that, that area you know what i'm saying but a lot of people take zero, the wave zero one of my top because i mean bro honestly I, that's all i listened to growing up was houston music mm -hmm. like i know everybody be like oh man jay-z like, i definitely bro, had that face definitely wasn't in my top like it wasn't it was just Houston. but that's what you Jay -Z was never really in my yeah, that's what i heard top, all the time but i always i jam i always jam other music too Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, also along with you know H Town too, stuff. But I listened to but a yeah, Jay Z lot was never in my. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was just Houston. I mean, mm -hmm. I had a playlist full of just <laughs> Houston stuff at one just point. It was Houston. like Chameleon there. I definitely uh, around 05, 06. What's his face? Powwow and Chameleon there mm -hmm. when they was together. The, um, Mixtape Messiah, Little Slim Thug, Little mm -hmm. Flip area, especially Little Flip area because he was switching all flashy. Bro, I listen Hulk, to all crazy, Fat Pat, like all that stuff. Big Mo, all of them, man. The bar, baby. Yeah, yeah, we did have a nice little oh, era. Then. No, we did, bro. Crazy era. We, we Trade the Truth was one of my favorite. Oh, uh, Trade the Truth. I remember when they young. first put his uh, song on Madden. He's mm -hmm. like, real talk for my niggas on the block. I'm a real for the yeah. yeah. I heard that on there. I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> I went crazy Yo, on bro, that. It's the Swing song from it. That's when I first heard. Swing swing and the and swing it was like three different there. versions. I'm oh, like, bro, bro, all of them hoes here. I, I didn't even know that was a Michael Jackson yeah. sample. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So back yeah, yeah, then, yeah. I didn't know. I was I, like, I, I damn. Who was it that we was? We checked <laughs> this that out. Yeah, that's, that bro, song go hard, I seen too. that somewhere where they showed the sample to it, and I was just like, Bro, Yo. I didn't know that oh, the longest. So I was, I'm a, no, I'm was a Michael a, Jackson like crackhead. So like, ago I, I know even like some of his unreleased. Yeah, no, it was a minute ago. Oh, what were we about to say? No, I was just saying it was a minute ago when I found it out. No, well, no. since we are talking about Michael Jackson, y'all know uh, the recent comparisons of people saying Chris Brown's more talented than Michael Jackson. Why do they? Why do y'all do and, that? There's uh, no need to do that. Y'all stupid. I'm sorry. Uh, like, there was a recent interview of Chris Brown. You know, who's doing, saying that? It was a. It was a. You know, how social media was it both iconic. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, it was like, a few weeks ago. I'm just saying, like in general, you know, mm -hmm. how social media likes to compare everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Michael so, is Michael. Like I don't. You know, and, Chris uh, is Chris. Like comparing the basketball Chris players to football himself, players. He was like, Nah, that's that's no cap. Uh, you know, I seen what people were talking about, but I stayed out of it because at the end of the day, it w if it wasn't for Mike, I wouldn't be here. Mike's on a whole nother stratosphere. Um, you know, I I will always have a special place. For what he's done for music like i wouldn't be here so i can't even even put myself to say those words like nah that's that's mike yeah. mm -hmm. and when he said that i'm i was glad that he said that because i i expected him to say I, that. you know it made sense because you know he Got always looked up <laughs> oh, you know what i'm saying mike. to michael I mean, jackson so after the it's man after mike. his tribute and he broke down yeah doing the I, tribute, yeah. I was like that tells you all you need to know about chris mm -hmm. brown but listen, it was it's mm -hmm. mike I, I just want people to understand it's this mike. if you're listening if you're watching i don't care i don't know where you at it's but mike. just understand it is michael jackson oh. there will not be another artist no nope. bigger better michael more brown. talented driven than michael jackson michael jackson is the all-time he is music I, yeah. yep 
Yeah, I even um, who was I talking to? Joe. I was talking to Joe. I say, mm-hmm. I say, you got to think about it like this. Oh, on Facebook. Yeah, I say. Oh, okay, yeah, Joe. I say, Michael Jackson. Hold on. Pause. Yeah. No, 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 no. Can you hold on to that? No, 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 no. Let's let's skip back. No, no, no. I will. I, we'll get back to it. Hold on. Let me finish what I say. Real quick. What did he say? I told him, Michael Jackson. I don't like what is going. Um, not what? you. It's not you. Why were you telling Joe something? What did he say? He made a post about um, yeah, he was the Chris Brown, Michael Jackson. What thing. did he say? I don't actually remember because I just say, go bro? to it. Please. But I think you. I think he said Michael Jackson for sure uh, can't be beat or whatever by Chris Brown. Yeah. But I, I told him. <laughs> yeah. I told him. I told him Michael Jackson. Confirm. I basically said you got to look at it like this. Michael Jackson could stand in front of a crowd. And they just wanted him to take his shade off. All right, here it is. I found we it. just said that earlier, bro. Yeah, here it is. I found like, it. Like, what you just said, Michael Jackson was able to just go on stage bro, he's and just stand there and had grown-ass men. We talking about some head of households. Mm-hmm. Super Bowl right. for like so, 10 minutes. This is what he said. He said, the thing is, Chris Brown may be more talented than MJ from an overall standpoint of oh. things. He does that MJ didn't. But in the realm in which they exist... That talent in the grand scheme of things means nothing simply due to the fact that MJ's talent and influence have more of an impact overall on the world. I yeah. think we say he's I, more talented. I, I can't say. The only reason I, I understand what he's saying I is because it. Chris Brown, he produces, he raps, he, uh, he he's an artist. He, he has dances. his own painting. He, d- he does okay. so much. And so, like, I get that, but we don't exactly know everything that Michael Mike Jackson did. did. Yeah. So it's like and I can't really use that as mm-hmm. the social media gave him that. Exactly. So this is why yeah. I hate comparisons to people <laughs> now versus then. I hate exactly, because they don't have it. social media if like your this. hands start typing like that, I hope they freeze and stop <laughs> typing or texting, whatever the hell, because we need to stop comparing. We'll never know. But then that's why I made the comment because I was like, but then like. With all the other stuff that Chris Brown got, like if we're going to use that as the you know thing, because we don't actually know what all Michael Jackson, right? Mm-hmm. Like we we know right. as documentaries were coming out, we were finding out more and more stuff. He and was making beat, he was producing crazy too. talented, uh-huh. crazy talented. Like the, the stuff. that song with "I Got a Feeling Somebody's Watching Me." That yeah. wasn't even his song. He yeah. wasn't even credited on the song. It Nigga, was that's Michael's else. song. I'm sorry. And like, yeah, and, and that nobody was cared. Rockwell, you cool, but crazy. no. Yeah, he didn't. We waited for that hook on the yeah. song because he knew he didn't want, uh, from what people to be were saying, overshadowed. Yeah, he, he, he didn't want, want to overshadow. it to be overshadowed. But even then, people knew. Oh, that's Michael. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And that made that like song. you knew, yeah. you you always think of Michael Jackson when you hear that song. You don't I think about nothing else. I mean, and then to be fair to, to Chris Brown now, like in the next 20, 30 years, there will be when another, another artist coming. It won't know, be another Chris. Like no, we we have to stop. Oh, this person comparing better. these different eras is so annoying. We, niggas be so Very. bored. Man. But like I said. Michael Jackson had people fame for looking. Like he Bro, was standing I'm still. There you go. I've never seen that. that. Like I've never this boy, I man. dance because of Michael Jackson. His name <laughs> is because of Michael Jackson. <laughs> Big facts, I, I dance man. because of Michael Jackson. Like that's where it started. Well, my dad's middle name is Which Michael. is why I understand uh, why Chris uh, Brown said the same. Because I'm sure it's the same mm-hmm. case. Yeah. And I so mean, like you just gotta give hey, give respect, move on. Talk be shine a light on the past and the present yep, without having bro. to why do we always gotta bring one down to bring another one exactly. up? Exactly. You don't have to do that. Jordan and LeBron can both be great. Mm-hmm. Yep. Why do we always I mean Curry can be great. Yeah. Curry, Curry. can be great. Like, <laughs> Kobe can be great. Mm-hmm. Let's just let bro. them yeah. be great. <laughs> Boys will sit there and tell them, Kobe was no, but, no, but, but Kobe, Kobe, sit Kobe was just a copy of the uh, Michael no. Jordan and the Kobe. And they will sit up there and say that like this shit is possible yep. for you to do. Like you can just get the right, They make it seem like ahead. they just bums. Go copy MJ then. Go ahead. <laughs> That's what kills me because I'll be like, y'all calling LeBron LeBom and he's still doing way more stuff than y'all ever could have. That's why I have I have my limits of shade, damn it. So, I'm like, I'm just not about to talk muscle. to some 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 Yo, talk I about some finals him, MVP. Yeah. I always say LeBron is a GOAT. He's a he's yeah, a he's, he's one definitely of the a, he's a <laughs> but, GOAT. Like I, you could talk as much trash about all them players as, as you want, but at the end of the day, they gate goats. Yeah, like, yeah. They they you are goats. You step your ass on that court. Yeah. That's that's why with some things I don't even like <laughs> go back and forth with people. Like you'll see me just stop talking. Like I'll just be like, all right. Like, mm-hmm. for one, you don't have a stamina to run back and forth up and down the court mm-hmm. two times. And then, <laughs> Not you know, I'm two just times. saying, bro, it'd be like, niggas really be out here talking trash. And I'd just be like, bro, I'm going to let them. I ain't doing it. Yeah. So, I, like, it's only so far you can People go. really don't think about the, the stamina they that comes don't. with that. Because, watching. because the pace 
that NBA runs because the dudes are in, in so much shape. Like, they you know, the pickup games so y'all much. playing, y'all walking off and walking. Yeah. Nah, a lot of times exactly. they running that whole time. So you when you, you, want you doing that walk, they fast break on you. Yeah. Like, imagine Russell Westbrook in the wreck, like in the wreck, going to get some regular oh, people. Oh, he would kill. He Boy, just, I, shoo, 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 just, just lighting them up. I thought I, was, I thought I was washed. I don't even like full court games. <laughs> Half court me. Killing their ass. Half court me. So, yeah. God, well, I, I think we can, most of us, in, well, all of us in here agree that Michael, he, he's goated. Michael's he's goated, bro. bro. There's, not there will me. never be no they one They tried else. to do the same thing with Beyonce. Uh, bro, they, uh, they did. They tried to compare they the performance. Comp- Compare uh, her singing and yeah, her, her ability. performances versus oh my God. Mike's. They, and they tried to say. influenced by Mike. Her, how she performs now, you can tell. Everybody she even said it. But that's she what I'm said saying. It. Yeah, just, I'm like that. Don't people can never just acknowledge no, greatness. Bro. They always got to compare them. I mean, like, no, oh, no, like y'all were saying, nope. Nobody's going to anybody concert nowadays and passing out, bro. No, I'm just unless it's stats. just you know some, it's some sad yeah, stuff it's going on. <laughs> the temperature's hot. They all, they, yeah, they people all, they passing all some out shit. from people stampeding right. and some crazy. Yeah, stuff. some yeah, something like really that. Good. But nobody's just. I'll never, bro. Michael. He literally just. I think it was that Super Bowl performance. Bro, he just stood, stood, there. There. Yeah, stood there. Bro. Let the wind blow through his hair. Had the sick ass went, suit and then he had to perform. Then he 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 had he had a performance talking about. Y'all want me to you want me to take off my glasses like. Just to take off your glasses, Bro, people are niggas, going insane. Oh, like, <laughs> insane. I think that was an award ceremony or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Take off his glasses and yeah. he's yeah. like, nah, shy. You know, yeah, but I like, I like, I like how humble. He always okay. stayed humble, though. Like, he never yeah. was like, oh, yeah. in a way, from what I've seen of Mariah Carey, from the stories that people have said and stuff mm-hmm. like that. She a diva, diva. She mm-hmm. acts like she knows. I've she heard is. a lot of diva about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. but. I'm glad Mike never. He always was kind of like, yeah, he was, just, he was just like, yeah, bro, I'm just me. What was that? Uh, uh, whatever Grammy where he won the most awards of all, t- like most awards in one night at the Grammys. Mm-hmm. And he's just coming back. I'm, uh, you know, yeah. I thank y'all again. And niggas is, I remember that so well. Like, oh my god, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's one of those things where when you trans, when you had celebrities doing it too, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. it was when, celebrities out there like, yep. it's trying cool. to meet you. Like, yeah, when you fanning out. Like for example, Michael Jordan, he he transcended oh, basketball. Yeah, boy. He transcended basketball on a global scale. And the same thing with Michael Jackson, he transcended music on a global. And scale. imagine him doing this on social media. <laughs> like this man, man got all these Jordans. He got, bro, bro, bro. Can't imagine. Man. That's it, why when they compare it, I'd be like, bro, you, you really bro. think that like, you can't Jordan right was now? Who he was without all. social media. <laughs> You can't, bro. Really want to do that? Like, yeah. if we was to put him in this era, you needed him in the same era in, or, in order to even have that type of fight. You yep. put Jordan in this era with this technology, with this level of uh, training to be able to stay in the league longer. Oh yeah, and and the training is different the now. Medical equipment to keep you going, and I don't even understand why they would be trying to compare. And, and that's that's the world we live in now. That's like putting us back in the day. We wouldn't be able to deal with certain mm-hmm. things because no. our bodies nope. weren't adjusted to. Mm-mm. For a lot of y'all niggas, don't know manual labor. That's <laughs> labor. People would that? pass out. Y'all think it's hot outside? Imagine being outside actually working, like for real, for real. Like nah. you ain't ain't no that's, office that's job. A, that's a different time, man. Different different time period. So it was it was cool to see and hear that from Chris. Chris is. Even though people give him a lot of flack, you know, for some of the stuff he's, that's happened in the past, you can still tell he has love for the music. And that is important because some people, you can tell, they just do it. For just, the money. You know, for the money or the label said do it. You got to have passion and love to drop, record over 200 plus songs and only put 20 of them on your upcoming yeah. album. And it's not only that, but it's also his passion. You yeah. know what I'm saying? His passion, passion never fails. But, um, you stupid. <laughs> His <laughs> his ability to grow, yeah, you know and what I'm saying because and change. It's like, bro, we all. If people was to see how you are behind closed doors, who would they really meet? You know what I'm saying. That's one mm-hmm. thing we gotta ask ourselves. Yep. When we so quick to point our fingers and judge people, and mm-hmm. you know, yeah, these celebrities are they're they're on TV. They're human. They're our um, yep. They're our punching bags. Yeah. A lot of people go home and they do a lot of disturbing things, Ooh, but because nobody good. knows it, yep. they're able to get on. They're social able to media. get on there and judge other people. Yeah, all day. 
Like, like they somebody sanks. was to shine a light on you and to see what's going what on in your wait, house. Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to know about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've been beating my wife for 16 years. This is a story. Yeah. Oh, very, oh, very, exactly. <laughs> very sad. People, wow, man. But um, so I do want to touch on this because I know we have some other stuff to talk about. Yeah. But um, so the apparently Bill Cosby situation. There was another wait, Bill what? Cosby. Yeah. Um, Something else happened. Yeah. yeah just, uh, uh, Bill did he Cosby get out? Calls, he got out, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bill Cosby calls verdict an astonishing victory. After jury finds he sexually assaulted a 16-year-old in 1975. Um, it says, Jeez, yesterday a civil bro. jury found that disgraced comedian Bill Cosby sexually abused Judy Huth, uh, or Huth when she was 16 years old and 75 in the wake of the verdict. Cosby team is calling it an astonishing victory. Yesterday, actor and comedian Bill Cosby was awarded an astonishing victory by jurors in a civil trial brought by Judy Huth. Reads a statement from Cosby spokesperson Andrew Wyatt. The jurors decided to grant Judy Huth with the $500,000 verdict but voted nine and three in favor of not rewarding Ms. Huth any punitive damages. Mm. Uh, it's strange okay. to consider a verdict which confirms Cosby sexually assaulted a minor as any sort of victory. However, the part they seem to celebrate concerns the punitive damages, which is mm-hmm. if awarded, would have deemed Cosby acted with malice, oppression, and fraud, meaning he would have to pay a lot more money. Despite yeah. the victory, Cosby's wow. lawyer, Jennifer Bonji, <clears throat> uh, plans on appealing the verdict, stating Huth will never receive a payday. Damn, bro. They still going out there. I ain't gonna lie, because they did they kind of boo boo because they said victory, but then yeah. it was he was guilty or whatever. But yes, but I, apparently yeah. they you know he's not she won't to be able to receive any uh Damn. Any money and like then that. supposedly the article I read, this was in the Playboy Mansion. Now of course Wait, we don't condone that's the wrong under age sexual harassment, but Why what was a sixteen year old doing at the Playboy that's Mansion? The time back then. My question is my ass, but still so my question is this, did he know she was sixteen? That's, exactly. another, that's another question too. That's just exactly. like just like the question we posed when we was talking about going to the club and how these bouncers and shit yep. used to let these girls but in, the knowing time, they wasn't old know. enough. At the same time, that's a different time back then. So just because you were sixteen, it didn't really matter. I'm sure that nobody got their name, and they age tatted on. Yeah, right. like it didn't really matter. It was fake Even, IDs like, all over was, the place then. People was messing with. Sixteen-year-olds and fifteen-year-olds back then—that was—that was a more of a normal thing. Never don't make it right, but just nah, the fact but that, that was the time period. Right. That was the time period. But I also don't—I mean, I don't know. I think a—I just think of a situation um, of a lot of girls. You know, they be wanting to be in the vibe. The Playboy Mansion. Yeah, and like, they try to get in. Was a lot they know they're gonna meet celebrities. So a lot of them, you got a lot of girls now that look older. You know yep. what I'm saying? So all they got to do is say, I'm, "Imagine how yeah, look I'm back, 21. how they look back then." You know, damn, everybody yeah. looked old at like you know, older. I'm, I'm twenty like something, thirteen years old and stuff. Right. Like, it, I don't I'm even think something. people care to ask. If the setting, you're there. All, yeah, the so setting's I'm, there. Yeah, assume you uh, yeah. of age, and if you're not, oh well, because that was that time period, bro. There was drugs. Yeah. There was a lot of drugs going on, bro. People don't want to admit that now. They you know trying to be holier than thou. But nah, bro. There was a lot of people doing a lot of drugs, yep. all types of stuff. Hell, half the music that we love was made by people that was on, on psychedelics. Drugs. Yeah, all types of stuff. So I can only Cold imagine. Thanks. I can only imagine what was going down at the Playboy Mansion because everybody wanted to be at the Playboy Mansion. Like, she's sick. Yep. I'm trying to figure Cocaine out. Cocaine Country. Yep. I'm what? trying to figure out who came up with this lawsuit because she's 64 years old now. Jesus. But I mean, it's, all of them, were, it's, a lot of them were like yeah, that. Yeah, they were though. old, old. It's like mm-hmm. 40, 50 years old situation. And now you say something. And that's the thing we, I, I want to put this out there it's to have that to conversation. Me. I don't think any of us in here are denying there's some things that, you know, that men be doing. And, you know, saying it's messed up and we don't condone it. But at the same time, waiting, if that's the case, I, I waiting, stop asking that question. I know exactly what you're asking. Waiting 50 plus years potentially. You know the answer or are you just... I, I stop asking that because I get the same answer every time. A lot of the time this, the women are scared. There's no time period. They're scared to, you know, come up and then you, some people need more reinforcement. They need and other I get women. that. I and understand so, that. Like that's the same answer that's going to always come out. True. At this point, that's what I've heard about a thousand times. Yeah. Because I always ask that question. Mm. Like and why? And I mean, like, I don't know how to react. Because it's like, uh-huh. okay, once again, this is a different time period. Bill Cosby's Bill Cosby. He can easily yeah. just be like, what the fuck are you talking about? And yeah. niggas ain't don't believe you. So there, intimidation there, factor. Yeah, yeah. And and there that there, there is some truth behind that. But also at the same time, too, it's like I guess you could say the mob mentality of one case came out, then all these other cases. It's the same out. as the Sean Watson type situation. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's very similar. Like, let's mm-hmm. say he did this stuff. Mm-hmm. One came out, they were like, oh well. 
Well, let me go to him too. Yeah. yeah. And then so like there's just like all right, power and numbers. Well, this happened to me too. Or, oh, is thing. this a line? Okay. Oh, like, exactly. And it, like number. it's not always necessarily <laughs> there. Like sometimes it is just for the money. Sometimes it's like to get some. They're like, justice. dang, somebody's actually like able to talk, like to get back to him. I want to, you know, get it, get involved in this and tell my story because it's mm-hmm. happened to me no, too. Sure. The ancient but, people uh, deserve to pay. Uh, to add to your point, but at the same time, you gotta also put in context because of the time period. Yeah. Was it really what you say it is? Exactly. Or was it because some shit happened? Now you see what the wave is, the climate of what's happening. Yeah. So let me hop on this because I don't think a lot of them cases was just, oh, this nigga Bill Cosby oh, for out sure. here just going wild and reckless. Not saying that it couldn't have happened, yeah. but the probability just doesn't, it just doesn't and, make sense. And that's sense. what annoys me about he say, she say uh, yeah. trials in general, because, yeah, and especially if they're like in the 70s, 80s, yeah. have, they don't have, cam- they didn't have cameras sh- anywhere. So yeah. how are we even determining who's at fault? There we go. Because all it is during the whole case is he say. That's say. what it is. I was on drugs half the time, so I don't even have to remember. But I remember he put a little bit of extra stuff in my juice. You knew I was about to put the you, extra you, stuff in your juice, though. Yeah. But you remember or that. maybe you took it. Because once again, Man, setting was on matters. Type of thing. If you're at a Playboy Then all of a sudden you're 70s. saying he, taking, he took advantage of you. All of a sudden you yeah. just remember 50-something years later, he took advantage of me. Not saying that it didn't happen, but yep. also context needs to be included, it's a, bro. It's it's a it's, it's a, tough. It's yeah, a, it's a, that's you're a, on the that's fence. A gray area. You got to be on the fence with it's, it. It's yeah. tough. It's, I will yeah. say it's just a tough situation. Double-edged sword. We not there. We yeah. didn't know. We don't know. You know. All we can do is hope anybody that do, do try to cause harm to someone, you know, serves their justice. Oh, for you know, sure. We serve justice. Um, Reap you know. what you sow. Yeah. 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 Nah. Yeah. Everybody. You know. That's karma. Kinda, it never, never has a day off. <laughs> It may be 50 years later, and you may get your karma just then. You know what I'm saying? So, karma. Speaking of karma, uh-oh, old lady from uh, the elephant situation. That's what you really made me think of. Man, just I now. cannot believe that. We got to talk. This happened, I want to say, I don't maybe care what nobody last says. Week, few weeks ago. This elephant I, knew something. So, yeah, that elephant went rogue. Yeah, yeah, nah. This elephant truly this went This personal. Rogue. So, elephant kills old woman, then returns to trample her corpse at the funeral. So, they live in... Some type of Sheesh. village or whatnot, and apparently, um, the rumor is something happened with uh, like one of the elephant like calves or whatnot. Mm. Like, and apparently she was involved in maybe one of them getting taken away or whatever. That's just the rumor, but a lot of people are kind of surprised on how vindictive and rage filled this elephant was. So apparently, elephant. Remembers who this person was because elephants have great memories. Remember who this person was. Killed her. Mm-hmm. Of course, the family, they rush her to the hospital. She dies due to, because of her injuries. Then they uh, bring her, uh, they're, you know, prep, you know, about to prep her for the, for the funeral yeah. or whatnot. Elephants like, nah, it ain't going down like that. Pulls up to the funeral, wreck shops. Tramples on her again. It was a herd of uh elephants. Yeah, and then she uh, apparently she roared, and then all the other ones from her uh, herd Damn. came in and just started wrecking. She shopping. called the gang on this lady Not after and she destroyed trampled. they they yeah. village. Like, yeah, you shouldn't Bro, have did what you did. It like, says during, that was personal. During that was personal. her funeral, a herd of elephants allegedly stormed the village. Oh, One of the elephants arrived there suddenly and took the corpse from the pyre. Oh my god! Bro. I'm god. telling you. I'm telling you that Bro. you can't tell you cannot wow. convince me that this was just some coincidence. No, it's no, a nature, it man. This like, was a I remember your face because yep. elephant memory is amazing. Very and amazing. Yep. She probably did something to either the kid, to them, to mm-hmm. an older uh, one of the fam- like the family members. Somebody yeah. got affected by her. That that old lady. And then that elephant recognized her. He said, Yep. Mm-hmm. Today is the day. Yeah. And apparently so that someone said, uh, don't know how true this is. Uh, apparently a woman helped poachers kill an elephant's babies and, oh. the, and the elephant killed the woman and then came back to her funeral. Oh. Pulled her out the cast. That's the case, oh. then I have no remorse. I'm sorry. Like it's just the elf th- apparently the elephant didn't mess with anybody else. Uh he pulled her she out of the casket, swung her around, trampled her body and left. Oh my god. Wow. Tell you that was personal. Yeah. That's he said, I, Hey, they having a funeral today, I'm pulling up. Yeah. And that's then just walk out like, come on, boys, let's head back. That ain't that's back. crazy. <laughs> like, it's kind of creepy though on the cool. That lady did some stuff, man. Dog, that imagine you mourning someone and all you hear is, 
Oh, what the? Wait a minute. I don't Elephant bust through the you, wall. How can you stop that? Elephant like, bust through the wall like the Kool-Aid, man. Oh, like, yeah. You thought the shit says, was over? It says human-elephant conflict is relatively common in India. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, they be so messing they be, with elephants. Yeah. Yeah, they be hunting them. Poaching Have y'all seen um, Umbach? Mm-mm. Who? Or uh, The no. Protector? That's what it is. Who? Mm-hmm. The no. guy who's like, you know, he's he does, um what is it, Muay Thai? And um, he's protecting his elephant. Mm. It's the whole movie. It's just like it's basically an action. Oh, he, oh, he's just man. so people try to steal his elephant, and he beats up a bunch of people until he gets his elephant back. Mm. And then unbox like John Wick. The unbox are basically like the same thing. It's pretty much the same guy, mm-hmm. and he's it's something to do with an elephant. Like either they took her kid or something. Oh, they took my uh, elephant's kid. Damn. So now he goes oh. and beats up a whole bunch of people till he gets his elephant back. Oh, yeah, like yeah, I mean, oh, it's great. I mean, he may want to get that elephant back. Oh, uh, it's great. The, all of them are great. I'm like, coming, Dumbo. That's wild, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. The fact that these animals are that emotionally, <clears throat> like, they had that emotional depth to them, and they can remember something. So imagine just elephant sees that. It's upset. Count your days, bitch. Elephants bro, are Count your like days. That, man. I'm hey, I'm going to tell you this. Animals are dope. And animals... They they just you know they're unique and we wow. are the reason why we come into their homes we start building and on mm-hmm. their yep. uh, land and stuff like that and we just take ownership and you be Th- wondering why like, that could be, be the other videos reason. yeah and maybe yeah. having bears in people's backyard and we be like bro where they stay at no. bear I don't see how just y'all kicking can... it they're like in man I back. used to stay here yeah but y'all man. took my house especially so. like in Australia bro we be seeing people with their dog in the back and it be a whole a kangaroo, kangaroo leopard. Or a leopard, a leopard yeah. be coming and or stuff. Or fucking, and um, what's that damn lizard? Oh, them iguanas. Uh, not iguanas. Uh, it's, it's a Komodo dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they they're invasive they're, as hell. Yeah, nah, bro. Mm-hmm. You see that? You run the other way. <laughs> you run yeah. the other way, and you probably gonna, gonna get your ass. Clearly. Oh, did y'all see that video? I think it was in Australia where some, I think it was like an alligator. Uh, I think alligators are in Australia and crocodiles in the yeah, States. Australia got everything. Yeah, yeah but yeah, basically, yeah. it was yeah, an alligator pull up to the dude crib. He had a frying pan, bunked him on yeah, the top of his head. I thought that was Florida. Again. No, I think that was in uh, Florida's ha- Florida. I'm, have a lot of I'm videos. I'm surprised that ain't in Florida. You'll see a bunch I'm of not those. sure. It don't even matter. You could probably think of a random situation. Yeah, that could be in Louisiana, too. It was just the fact that he, it was just like a Small. normal day for him. Yep. It was charging at him full speed. He just boom. Boom, but he did, it, he did it like he was used to it. Yeah, though, that's right? all I'm like. Oh, He's like, you back? Yeah. I didn't told I didn't you. I told you last. <laughs> Who just got a frying pan on hand like that? Bro, I just, <laughs> bro, imagine you, you just, just in your backyard. Back what was you doing? You and, knew something was probably going to come. And you got another a fucking one. alligator rolling up like, what's good? And like, hey, bro, we've been through this already. I can't, How many I just, times I got to tell you? Old man. <laughs> <laughs> well, all you all you hear is a get and like pa and then like you turn around you Not see get you, big mama with a frying pan you, and I'm like bro bet you he went back and used that frying pan to cook something yeah, but like hey, nothing bro. happened like just, Bobby, know, Bobby Bobby give me the uh, I know the alligator was like y'all better watch yourself yeah you know? cause he swung that whole bro. he's like god damn alright bro he ain't phase that alligator that alligator said my bad yeah, uh, yeah he bunked he, him he was two surprised times. he wasn't no punk yeah that's like, oh. oh you ain't scared oh okay my bad, my bad, my bad. okay <laughs> Oh, oh, you a, you a real human. Yeah, Nothing to see here. I'm all, I'm gone. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm he out. thought he had a free meal. <laughs> I'm out, bro. Just zigzag. <laughs> and I'm out. They, they have a hard time with the turns. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you who seen Jurassic Park the newest one? I, no, I haven't. Yeah. 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 You seen it? Yeah. yeah. You liked it? You seen it? Oh, you talking about the new one? The yeah, newest the new one. one. Nah. No, the I thought you said the first. See, one. I heard it, it wasn't that. No, was, bro, that shit was. Old. It was. No, don't put it your, don't put your <laughs> That's what I heard. I heard more. Let, let people get their own no, opinion. Bro. If you're a kid, you'll probably love it. First of all, it was. They heard ah, it was long too. So. Ah, that shit. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, that it movie was, was too moderate. long. It was long, but no, bro. How'd you feel? Bad. How'd you feel? <laughs> I honestly, I don't care what you say about the movie because yeah. I ain't going to see it. I'm gonna nah, watch a bootleg if anything. No, I'm just thinking like <laughs> it's, it's. It was like. It didn't live up to what the trailer. See y'all, the trailer looked good too. Yeah. We casted all the OG cast members and just. Uh, but that and they did bring the OGs back. It didn't hit it did. for me yeah, when they shit. came back. It was just like awkward. To Aww. be honest with you, yeah. they nostalgia baited people to go see it because obviously the OG. And cast did you see there. the reach moments in there? Because they were trying to relive a lot of moments in the original Jurassic Park. That shit. So they were doing certain things. That reminded you of key moments can, in the original. So can yeah. we, can we, since we're actually talking about 
animals and interacting with humans. Can we talk about one part that just it? When I saw it, go I was ahead. like, "Yeah, I'm ready to go," but I've already paid money, so I'm just gonna sit oh, yeah. here. I was eating, so I was yeah. about to say, "I'm here for the snacks." <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I would be doing. So, I was eating. Um, there's a scene, a regular movie, where you know a Chris Pack character, you know, he Blue is there. They took Blue's baby or whatever, the the little baby uh, of Lost Raptor, Lost or Beta or whatever. That part we did. So see on the, the name trailer. is literally at this point talking to Blue, like Blue understands. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna get her back. Don't worry, I'm gonna get it back. And I'm just, I'm just sitting here like, bro. Blue must have understood him though. Bro, that don't make sense. I'm sorry, bro. He's Dr. Doolittle. Blue that, is smart. Bro. <laughs> the you last one up there was like, bro, you got two days. If that, if my motherfucking baby ain't back, I'm snapping shit up and he just ran off. Oh. Ooh. So okay. they go actually get Blue, bring it back. Then, like, you know, Blue Beta. was like, oh shit, appreciate you, cuz. Run off. And then he comes back. You a real one, bro. And then runs off again. I'm like, Beta, that's her name. Yeah, that would have pissed me off too. Damn, that <laughs> we the movie went from when we was kids, the original one, the amazement of dinosaurs, and what would they be like in the real world to a motherfucker just putting up a hand saying, "Hey, bro, I got you. That's Don't worry about hell. it. I'm gonna go ahead get your baby back, and we gonna be good." Speaking of originals and and new and remakes and shit, uh, the. Tough. Live action, live Lion King was on my TV uh, the other no, day. No, no. And I was like, I understand, don't dog. You do it. I understand. Don't you do it. I understand why you didn't want to go see this bullshit. Never watched it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't see it, but I, every snippet, I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm so glad I'm not sitting down oh, watching no. this garbage. Oh, <laughs> y'all noticed no, Disney, they chill. I was a just watching bit pieces of, of it. Uh, I bet. I bet They've been flopping back to back. Bro, like, I was watching pieces. I was like, this shit is terrible. Yeah, very. We better this, learn from Dragon Ball. The last one wasn't that bad. The Aladdin, the Aladdin look at, it the Aladdin was okay. Like it, yeah, it, it was, good. It was you know, I heard Mulan was, was really good too. I heard too. a lot of good reviews about the Aladdin. Yeah, the Aladdin one was okay, okay, even though I never seen the original. Jungle Aladdin. Book was um, okay. Well, yeah. Then it don't matter for you. But, you can watch whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I never watched. it. I didn't even know they made a Dumbo one to like a whole year. Oh later. yeah, I yeah, heard about that one too. Like, I didn't yeah. go see that. I mean Dumbo. Who cares? I never. Yeah, you better. Yeah, yeah. What you say, Cuz? My fault. My fault. My fault. I ain't say I didn't. Like heard you too. You got them ears. What's up, bro? You got a problem? With yeah. <laughs> yeah. Straight through the wall on us. Oh, God damn, we fucked up, y'all. Man. Man. Every man. Say, <laughs> I will say we got. He watched the podcast, y'all. Right. <laughs> that nigga on YouTube typing with his trunk. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Dance a lot. Okay. Huh? You like the dance? You gonna huh? put the elephant emoji? <laughs> I know what studio that is. <laughs> When elephant. I tell you, when I tell you, we just did a reaction earlier. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. and it was uh. The worst. We already did the one to the off-brand things, mm-hmm. but off. these were rip-off <sighs> movies. Yeah, animated movies. Bro, when I tell rip you, rip-off movies. They had a fish movie. No, tell them the title of the Lion King one. <laughs> just he got a he got a Lion King shirt on. I so was which, so mad. Was it the one with the him? white tiger, the white lion? Nah, mm-hmm. okay. the name tell of the movie was called Leo the Lion. Oh my God, Leo. King of the Jungle. <laughs> He's an asshole king, and the animals are trying to get him to be a better king. That's the plot. <laughs> Of the movie, <laughs> Get, be a better king, Leo. Come on, man. Or not finding Nino, finding Jesus. <laughs> oh, or is it I Jesus? My shit. No, it's Jesus. Okay, <laughs> no, they were talking about Jesus, but they were Christian fish. They were Christian fish <laughs> talking about Jesus. Nobody had me of, to, um, nobody actually what? had to find them. They that, were already yeah. all. Christian. That remind me of the veggie, uh, veggie, veggie tales. Oh, veggie tales. <laughs> But at least they had their own plot. Like Veggie yeah. Tales was Veggie Tales. Yeah, this was Finding Jesus. Finding Jesus. It was just like and Finding Nemo. Finding yeah. Nemo. But oh my it, god! Horrible Jesus. animation. But they were all Christian, so nobody yeah. was really trying to Christian find Jesus. Fish. And they never found him. No, they didn't find him. The three days he he didn't rise. He was in their hearts. Did he rise three days later? <laughs> <laughs> he was always here all that along. Was always here. <laughs> <Are you> serious? <laughs> We're not making this up. We don't no. see the video. So he didn't bro. rise three days later. No, we don't know. <laughs> they the never water. found him. They was in the water. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> He's talking about Jesus. He and probably not looking for him. He probably used. They was having a conversation. This at a Sunday show. school room right now. Didn't Jesus use VHS. some fish and some loaves of bread? He yeah. probably took one of them. <laughs> oh, Jesus gonna find that you. That would right. be a horrible <laughs> alternate universe movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They find Jesus, but he ends up cooking them to prepare for everybody. Yeah, the final feast. Yeah. <laughs> the fish of the final, final feast. Jesus, the last supper. Yeah. We found them all right. Yeah. She's not oh. the last supper. <laughs> Jesus, no. Hey, they the last supper, y'all. They are, 
Man, I yeah. have a sadistic mind. That's fucked up. Yeah, it is, bro. I have dark humor too. It's okay. Don't bring, bring it over here, man. It is okay. So, I, I just caught the elephant Kool Aid, man, and he just murdered somebody. So, I mean, <laughs> that is it doesn't get any better. That is one twisted ass dream. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm terrible. Oh, man. I want Kool Aid for the rest of my life, man. I oh, dog. Time to stump the yard. <laughs> Talk about me. That's, that's cold. Man. Honestly, I don't know where that came from. It just kind of came. Just <laughs> it just came out. It's okay. Sometimes you just gotta say some stuff. You said it, bro. Sometimes so, it comes out like that. So we uh, we gotta talk. Let's about not get canceled. This, uh, this unfortunate situation. I'm uncancelable. <laughs> you going sad? What's? I got a question it, before sad. It is sad, but it's like messed up. But sad. Wait, what happened? Um, the the whole situation with the lady. Uh, dying and then all twenty of her cats eating her. Oh yeah, I, yeah. So what's up with that? I didn't. I, that's my first that's time hearing. So that. random. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's crazy. Y'all didn't know this in the world. Podcast so real weird stuff, stuff happening. happening. Brought to you by nature. This was in Russia. Don't, don't fuck right. Like in Russia. Yeah, this was in Russia. Oh, she had Russian uh, cats. She mm-hmm. has twenty cats. So what they calling cats? It could be actual like lion like. Lions. You think so? Lions. No, she's just a cat breeder. She breeds cats. No, no, no. no. What They're kind lions. of cats? You know well, cats? not the, the pumas and the coo- saber tooth. Was her name no, Karen? No, I, think I know the just, truth. I think it's just. You don't have to lie. Cats. Her name was. A sure. Kofrosko. That's what they call him in Russia. Her cats. name was. What was her name? <laughs> Kofrosko. <laughs> what? Bat, bot, bot, bot. What's this? Batia. Mm-hmm. So of course Russian, it's got a. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have a. In there. A woman. <laughs> What a a woman in, in a Russian city oh, that's terrible. was Let eaten me die. by 20 of, 20 of her Y'all cats the after she died in the house and her body was not oh, discovered man. for weeks Whoa. by the police. The lady Damn. was a cat breeder who owned 20 Maine Coon cats. I, who her discovered her? A family member? Man, what? Was it a family Maine member? Maine Coon. Maine Coon. Was it a family member or a neighbor? Or, like, did she have, I wonder if she... Because most people with a lot of cats be really lonely that's people. Racist. Yeah. That, they, I don't think... It's a Maine Coon cat. I think that's what they call the cats. So I'm telling you, that's a line. A different type of breed. Were they black? It's a, it's a line. <laughs> I don't know it's Russia. I don't know what's in this picture. Right I told you. Right now. <laughs> Maine Coon. Oh, Coon. It's good. We did what we did. Only a rest of black cut. You shouldn't have called me a Maine Coon. That's stupid. <laughs> Only a rest of black cut. I think uh, after initial investigation, it was discovered that the woman died around two weeks ago prior to when she was found. Who discovered And the long... cats became hungry. And oh, since there was God. nothing else to eat, they ate the deceased owner. I blame Vecna. <laughs> Vic. Oh, if you no, know, no, no, you no, know. no, 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 no. I know about Victor, but I ain't seen Victor. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> started, never mind. Why are we laughing? Well, Jesus. Well, I'm it, talking about the Victor part. I ain't yeah. talking about that We part. just going to call this one dark humor, goddamn. No, it's it. the Oh, y'all. It's the oomps, oomps. Not the oomps, 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 oomps. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. Y'all, y'all. I saw the ruts and cuts not to be played with. <laughs> There are vicious can, animals. I can see someone listening Vecna, to that music petting their cat while it's just gently purring. <laughs> yes, I love this music. I love the rhythm of the... <laughs> Don't you die around here. <laughs> Man. No, no. Don't you die around here. Oh, it's, it's child time. Come on. Don't you die. You look a little tired. <laughs> Maybe she forgot to feed him before she died. Oh, yeah. Two weeks, two though. Weeks. <laughs> They it don't matter. It takes so long. <laughs> what else they need to get to the? They're like, shit. We can't even get out the house. Yeah, uh, they can't get out the house. Well, I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying that. No, <laughs> nope, nope. Let I'm it go. Let that. it out, no, man. No, 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 no. Be they toxic. They caught it. You're not toxic. <laughs> you said they caught it. I'm not, man. <laughs> See, look at your shirt. It says it. I know. Exactly. Oh wait, well, yeah. Don't worry about it. So they be toxic. toxic yeah. <laughs> exactly. Be toxic. Cause you're not toxic. <laughs> Right? You're looking in the mirror saying it. What you was going to say, bro? I wasn't about to say nothing, man. Just say it, Ross. Just, you know what I'm Just saying? Just be toxic, of. Ross. Let You're it go. Of. They went from Purina to... Wow, that's very dumb. Nah, don't even yeah, finish. Don't even see? Finish. That's why I said no. <laughs> Terrible. This, see? That's why I said no. What you going to say, like, Humina? <laughs> Terrible. No. <laughs> Humana. <laughs> what is that? Not the humana. That's an actual uh, insurance company. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah, it's Damn, it is something. Damn, it is something. Wow. I got you, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's the odds of that? <laughs> I go buy no cats. Nah, it ain't my Negatory. No cats. Oh, that's... Animals doing what they do. They R.I.P. Mean, to yeah. the woman, though, man. Surviving. Oh, she really though, passed no, away. They just surviving, man. That's, that's of course. It's a, it's a horrible to... situation that that happened. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I, for me personally, I, I don't know how people just... Be having that many cats and I couldn't place. do it. I can't do it. 
Nah. I like I said, know. most of the people that have that many cats are lonely people. So how many cats to take though? Yeah. Companionship, man. Yeah, you I mean, got different cats to talk to. You got much. Pete. You got Tom. You got Joe. Okay, you can do two. You got man, man, cool. two, maybe two, two may, rarely three, maybe I don't know. But man, two. Coon. two should be fair enough. Man, man, coon. man I, coon. I don't know, yeah, man. Right. Black just... cats, man, coon. <laughs> Black and cats are assholes. How do you man name cool, all of them? Bro. They're mean. They're assholes, bro. Man cool. Whiskers they're one, whiskers two. Yeah, like they. Mr. Fuzzlesworth. They, Mr. Uh, man cool. They don't, give a damn fuzzy about, they don't give a damn about loyalty. Snowball. What is loyalty? They they only mess with you. No, no, no. Way. Some cats can be pretty loyal. You you run. Some they're food. loyal by default. Where my food at? Hey, well, uh, <laughs> you, well yeah. I learned a lot from my boy, old buddy that does the nah. animal commentary. Mm -hmm. That cats, they like. They're not even supposed to be known to be domesticated. They learn. No, they're not revolutionary. Yeah. They're <laughs> so not. Like, they're, they're, yeah. Let they're me play rebellious. along with the yeah. person, the human, to stay. Free spirits. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're supposed to be on their own. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Chilling, how they live. Which is why I don't think people should have them. But I mean, yeah. they're also very good pets. Supposedly. Well, they keep certain things away from me, like rats, rodents, and stuff yeah, like they that. They can be pretty clean. Yeah. Like yeah. there's a cat that stays in, our, in my little complex. Like he just be chilling, she and home in his territory. Boy, now, huh? Cool people, man. Nah, I see. Yeah, hey, my cool dog. People. Ross, like, he don't come in the crib, though. What is he? Yeah, what is he? No, nah, I knew you gonna yeah, like. He don't, he don't come in the crib, but he take care of the, the little rodents or whatever. He just be chilling, bro. I'm just looking just out, like, bro. I'm trying to make sure like, y'all. Yeah. I found me a mouse over there. Yeah, he just be cooling. <laughs> now I, think, I saved it for later. I think one of my neighbors be feeding him or whatnot. So of course, that's he'll, how he'll just come sit at the door. Oh, they got a little bowl. And oh, stuff oh, oh, yeah. How how long has he been doing that? It's been about a good month now. Okay, well, it just just wait. The gang pulling up. Oh no! <laughs> I had a neighbor. I had a neighbor exactly like that. Actually, she fed one, mm -hmm. then like two came. The next thing I know, <laughs> there's like on, six cats out oh, there, bro. Man. I don't know because she just started feeding them. He's sensitive about his territory because I was in oh, the living room and be all of us bo boxing. Us. All, all I heard was. Damn, bro! Box. Them cats, bro. They were boxing Ross in front to the of window. Hey, them cats be sounding like they little babies. They ain't trying to share. That's their territory. Man. Yeah, he was wanted not, to get in here. <laughs> he was not playing, bro. He was just I, in that. Hole. I damn near kicked some out the way trying to get to my car during that time. That was what, like <laughs> five years ago, six years yeah, ago. That was crazy. And um, she she fed one, and I was like, oh, sh this lady just fed that cat, y'all. Uh, that's all, kiss. And she was like, oh no. Cause this wasn't the first time we seen this, and so you already uh, know what's about to happen. Oh, literally, yeah. like a week later, three was out there, and I was mm -hmm. like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> yep, <laughs> I think up. it was like five at, at one point, and yeah, then um, two was fighting when I was trying to go to work, <laughs> and I like, "Hey, bring it up!" I like kicked them out the way, and yeah. they like separated. I was like, "Move!" Because they were in my <laughs> door, move, like I man. couldn't get out right. unless yeah. I hit them. Yeah. So I was like, I couldn't step over to nothing in the way they were moving. So I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to walk. So I just walked, and they just, like, separated. I was like, cool. They ran back at each other, but I ain't yeah. care at that point. I'm like, I'm, I'm gone. Y'all got it. That ain't stopped nothing. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> we got to run yeah. that back. Yeah, I, I think not have that many cats, man, all the urine all over the place or wherever Sheesh. they see. Yeah, know. I think this cat in yeah, the territory. But no, uh, speaking of urine. Oh um, man, we got a sick ass. Yeah, sick old mode. It's, it's another conversation apparently with uh Kevin Gates. Yeah. Um, what? Your feather like, a little bit too on? tight on your head, bro. What's, I don't know what's going on. What's going on like, here? Who told me? Was it you? Oh, I know Brandon. I said tweeted it because he tweeted it. Disgusting. But what? Apparently. Brandon, you, you, you like. He it. said in the lyric, and this is actual Kevin Gates, he actually justified it too after. Mm -hmm. Of course, oh, yeah. he, does. he justifies everything. Because Kevin Gates is Kevin Gates. His he little diss track to everybody, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Apparently, like, he, I want to say either he'll let Beyonce piss on him or he'll like drink Beyonce's piss. That's like some Viking shit. Yes, well, like, um, he did. So there's an episode so. where dude gets peed on or whatever, but that's, yeah, that's mm -hmm. just reminded me of it. But the last thing I seen about Kevin Gates was him tripping over a speaker and then being embarrassed, looking embarrassed, and then taking off his shirt so the girls could go, ooh. It was weird. Well, that's it was a real awkward too. moment. It was well, like last was week they were, they were they were debating who's the biggest liar, the game or Kevin Gates, because apparently they wow. both been caught capping. To really? The yeah. So what the what the game do? Right. Well, it's the game. Yes. Yeah, well, I mean, it is the game. So he I was. Understand. He usually doing about, something um, for an album. He he got caught photoshopping a picture of him when he was like fourteen next to a picture of Tupac, and somebody brought it up to the surface like the original oh, photo. No. It's like a Mexican dude, you know. Oh, with Tupac. he and I'm like, bro, he photoshopped him, yeah, saying he knew Tupac back then. That's sick. Was he playing? Like, was he like? I, you know, he I don't was. know. He po no, it was that one, and then it was a, uh, it was a uh, one of his son's birthday, and he said like, uh, so and so, I asked him what you want for your birthday. He said, Daddy, I just want to ride in like the in the uh, Nipsey Blue Lambo today. 
because the marathon continues or something like that. Br- no, Br- a lot of parents time out, time out. No, yeah. no, we're not doing this. I hate seeing posts like Thank this. You. A lot where of they parents just be do putting that. shit in their kids. No, mouth. damn well the kids. <laughs> I looked at my shit. I looked at my son today. He oh, said, yeah. "Mama, yeah. sit down. I'll clean the kitchen, you know, vacuum in the living room, you know, then well. wash your car today." <laughs> no, it's yeah. the it's the me pulls up to the gas station. My son. Oh, mama, stay in. I'm gonna get out and go pump it for you. Yeah, like, <laughs> shut your yeah. ass up. You know he didn't say that. Well, that's that's actually more reasonable. Yeah. But but what I said, <laughs> I've seen one just like that. This motherfucker <laughs> start talking about how he wanted to clean up the whole house for her. But shut up. Yeah. Shut up. I never stop it. Yeah, you called the maids, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> talking about some. Right. Oh, oh uh, yeah, my son was riding a Nipsey. Man, come on now, game. Come I on, think the game. game started crying and the, the son's like, uh, cheer up, dad. The marathon continues. Like, oh my God. And I'll just. Why are we doing that's this? That's stop tough. it. Yeah. That's very cringe. And I love the game, but stop it. Nah, like I said, bro, the game is one of the top rappers, bro, but yet he does it to himself. And I just, I hate it. He, 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 just, he know how to rap. He, know, he knows, knows how to rap. How to rap. <laughs> yep. No question. Nah, the game is the game, man. These are the, uh, but what we, do they say? Mm-hmm. Um, Will I live long enough to become your enemy? You want to talk about your idols? Will they live oh, yeah. long enough to become your rivals? And mm-hmm. just, you know, just thinking about how, you know, people are when you just, you meet them outside of what you love about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like, now I know the real you and it's like, ah. Photoshopping yourself yeah. in a Tupac that's picture, cringe. though, that's, man, you hella know what's cringe. Even bigger cringe? Sitting up there and openly admitting you would want to want someone to pee on you, knowing yeah, that they're very married. Weird. Out of and, all people, too, exactly. And even like, if they wasn't married, that's just a weird thing to be like. People have their fetishes. And I they let do. You, I let you have that if that's yeah. what you want to do. How will you explain that but to Jay Z and Beyonce? Exactly. Yeah, like, Get your pee, girl. Like, that's wild. Like, I wouldn't even Streets is done. utter my. <laughs> Like, been say done. something like that to I know that someone that's married. This is why exactly. women feel like they can do what the hell they want to because you got niggas like that. That and I, it, it's I'll Kevin Gates. Pee, so just bro. imagine what? Sammy, Sammy that work at Walmart, like that will do whatever just for a shot at somebody. not a Sammy. Mm-hmm. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like Sammy, just Sammy, a regular Sammy. dude that'll just do anything to get looked at. I mean, we talk about dudes who DM girls crazy. I mean, even the videos you be posting, like how dudes be. Oh, His video be killing me because you be like, your bath water. Bro, somebody girl, actually said this? A girl sold her boob sweat. Like, yeah. Bro, when you like, said that, I was like. What you about to do with that? Like, I was like, what? Yeah, it's done. The streets is done, bro. Or the like, dude that went to the chick's ex and tried to set her door on fire. Bro, that, yeah, like, that, that video killed me. I'm like, bro, fellas, 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 fellas. Let it go, fellas, my boy. Fellas. We out yeah. here, bro. Let it go. Chill we out, out man. Like In a world where there's women who are open to. If Get it in right chill. there. Just, just chill. Just chill. <laughs> you don't know what that means. Just settle down. They don't. Just, just relax, chill. bro. You, you got better chances being more just calm in the down, situation bro. than you are being. <laughs> this we, goose. We may need to do a podcast addressing the fellas, man. Fellas, bro, we got to talk. We, Next yeah, week, we got to talk, man. Yeah, we, we got to talk. <laughs> we do, bro. I know we, we have our going we on. have our you know our conversations about women and stuff like that, and that's always good to have, like, just a balance. <laughs> but, <laughs> fellas, niggas, niggas this ain't – nah, bro. We going outside and being called a man now is is not even the same. <laughs> it, it, it don't even hit the same. Like, what y'all <laughs> doing – Ain't men like like I'm sorry, bro. You a man, so, mm-hmm. that mean Pimp, nah. Pimp C would be going crazy oh, right now. Bro. Bro, I could just, and, and here's the thing: I'm, I'm not all for the disrespecting the women and stuff like that. Like that's, that's cool if that's that's your lane, but at the same time, bro, these same men somehow be having kids and raising them up to, to do the same, the same damn goddamn way. thing, bro, yep. and just repeating the cycle, and making it worse, bro. Like, Cycle of trash. We we definitely have to have a conversation addressing the fellas out there because if you think what you're doing is the right move, it ain't. I'm sorry, bro. Sorry, it ain't, bro. Going out here drinking pee, trying talking to about oh, piss yeah. on me and spending money sweats. on women that Especially don't even give a damn about you. Trying to light up a fetish, door, people. can't get over an ex. Like, bro, we've all had the hard breakup. And, I, and bro. I get foot fetish may be a thing, but <laughs> like. Dang, not the foot fetish. Hold on, where are you going with that? <laughs> nah, because I be seeing people that just really be making bank just yes. off of sending yes. Yes. pictures mm-hmm. of their feet pictures. My thing is just that, that there are sites that are free 
three ninety nine. That you can probably see them do more with viruses their feet. may vary, but still, it's just the <laughs> fact that dog, like <laughs> there are free sites where you can go and probably see those feet do a lot more than what you paying thousands of dollars for just to no, look at. No, I just don't get what's the satisfaction. I like a girl with some pretty feet, but I'm not about to pay a monthly subscription for that <laughs> shit. Because what the hell What the hell can I get out of that? That's Technically, what I'm it ain't nudity. That's so what, yeah, what the hell? Out, like, like, it's nudity. It's like you paying to look at a chick elbow. She wears like, socks I just all don't day understand. and then she takes it off. Elbow. She just, took it off, man. She had the socks on too? all day, my boy. Ooh, like, you just... Put some lotion on. Put some right there. Right, right there. Right there. Slowly put it on. No, big toe. Big toe. Leave that, oh leave that for the man. Just, oh just, my like, Save the pinky. <laughs> we definitely have to have that conversation. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> different. It's, it's, well, I mean, Can you paint a peach, you peach peach pink? Like, Absolutely. But you, you like what, what you like. Know, I'm yeah. not going to knock the women. They capitalizing their ass yeah, off. Of these, Why shouldn't they? These dudes, bro. And it's like, hey, do your thing, bro. But okay. just be careful because niggas are starting to realize. You starting to realize people can't handle, you know, some people that you... If somebody can spend that much money just to look at your feet every month, something's not right. It's not. So just be careful. I, keep, I don't know. I keep forgetting that damn dude's name from the Players Club, the one that ended up going to her house. Oh yeah, the creepy one. Yeah, the creepy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's about to be a lot of motherfuckers on Was that type Robert? of energy. Wasn't it I Robert think or Robert or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like, yeah, man, women watch out. them out there too. Like, how much money I pay? But that's mm-hmm. reality though, bro. Like I, I'm glad they put social that part media in there. really exposed, the like really part? bringing them out. Yo. Oh yeah, no, that's some weird man. Man, <laughs> bro, it's some <laughs> shit. Nah. Weird. It's not for that. Not for no. I'll be looking like, bro, really? Mm-mm. Boob sweat. It's just to this point. It's like Mm-mm. I don't even. King. That I don't was wild. Know what else? Like, what is he doing with it though? Like, what? I don't even. He drinks it. it. <laughs> That Belle Delphine uh, uh, chick where she, every uh, hour. she Sniffed sold it. out because she put a bath. She was selling her bath water. She made like damn near close to a million dollars. I'm, 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 I'm done. She was just selling her bath water and sold out. So she was selling it in jars and she was shipping out. Sold out in minutes. And niggas got her bath water. I don't know what they did with it. Don't want to know what they did with it. But... Ladies, there's no reason why you can't make money. There it is. <laughs> there it is. I'm speechless, man, at this it, point. There's no reason. Know. It don't even matter your size, your your race. doesn't matter how much money you got. doesn't matter where you live. You got a camera, and you down to do some shit on camera. Niggas is down. You don't even have to put yourself on camera. You can, If you look I good think, enough, you can go get your bath water. I think I was watching go. the Twitch stream. Where a girl was just Not talking a, in the background. Yep. They're not even playing games. And mm-hmm. she was trying on clothes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want y'all to get I want y'all to understand this, okay? The girl is trying on clothes. Mm-hmm. And I mean she got thousands of watchers. It's like at nighttime. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And so um, she's got thousands of watchers. She's just talking. Yep. And making bank. She's making bank, bro, by changing outfits. And yep. she's not coming on the camera. <laughs> or, or wait, she, what, you mean, what you mean not coming on the camera? She's not the, on the camera. She's not seen. She's, she's not talking. seen at all. So she's, she's changing changed. outfits. Bigger. So she's like in the closet changing outfits. And she's the camera, somewhere. The camera is facing a wall. Or is facing her set up. How many people, people want on, well on her stream? Bro, it was some thousands. What in the it blue was some hell? Or the people. Niggas was donating. Mm-hmm. While she wasn't bro, on the I, camera, when I tell you, bro, I just I thought I was dreaming. No. That's how crazy the shit was. There's a wheel, there's and a I'm way. like, wait a minute, ladies, bro. get to the bag. So she yeah. not even dressing on the camera. She's just saying I'm. Ch- she's talking like she's changing into the hey. shit. I'm wearing a purple bikini. <laughs> or don't get like, to the streams where they just be in a in a in a little makeshift uh, floatable tub. They'll be in there. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, oh probably millions of mo- weird motherfuckers in that crazy stream. hot tub, little oh, hot yeah. tub stream, bro. Oh. And boys be donating like crazy. And then some, if you donate a lot, you can, you know, they'll sign their boobs oh, with your the name. V- VIP status. <laughs> I'm just like, ladies, get to the bag, bro. As long as there's men out there like I that, just, just get to the back. It, that's all I can you say. You know what's funny? It's just I like, bro, back then in high that. school, and you know. Since the dawn of school, especially high school, it was the dweebs that got bullied and whatnot. And now in society, it's like, damn, they're low key your bosses now. Like yeah. the popular chick that you know damn well you wouldn't spend no type of time with in high school mm-hmm. for paying your bills. Now it's like you depend on them now, because <clears throat> you know yeah. I mean you just I, 
Full circle, man. He comes. Speechless. The circle yeah. of life. Circle of Simpsons. Circle. Like, circle. We can, yeah, we can't even say the word Simpsons on Twitch. I can't even. It's banned. Doom, because it's a lot of simps on. I'm not surprised. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> you can't say the word simp on Twitch. Nope. You will get. We trouble. don't take too kindly of that word because yeah. it's simps. It's, yeah, Twitch. it's a lot. It's it's a lot of simps. Like, so. When somebody is donating just because you're changing, but I can't even see <laughs> what you're changing into. Simp behavior. That's just some, that's beyond simp. I think Ooh. we need to. I think we need to create a word. It has to go past simp. We can create a word. Right. Simp isn't good enough. No, it's not. That don't even feel good no more to say Mm-mm. to some. Some of the shit people want to get peed on, drink pee. <laughs> I don't give a damn who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the hell to get he out of said, there, man. Drink pee. Well, like, I don't know. Sheesh. I don't know. This. Yeah. But anywho, man. Uh, <laughs> you like what you like, huh? You like when you come, you like. when you come home. <laughs> I don't know. You might be saying, never mind. This, yeah. go Honestly, other, never mind. Go on Earth, too. Yeah, right? He, he Sheesh. And, he he and Mars right now. That's the best thing about that album. Honestly, never mind. Earth, too. The oomph, oomph is taking over. <laughs> Bags. <laughs> the oomphs, oomphs out there. <laughs> the oomphs, oomphs, oomphs and too much. Uh, gas isn't going back down. I want to end the pod on some some topics. Gas isn't going back down. Oh, God, uh, oh, speaking of gas, since you brought that up, I think there was two guys that ended up getting arrested. The heroes that we deserve. Oh, some no, more. Another pair. Yep. Two some guys. More. End up come on, getting every arrested. week. Come on. They hacked it's the getting system closer. and was giving out heroes. Come around gas. my way. I know you in jail right now, but don't. You are the hero we deserve. Yeah. Will you are the hero we needed. I hope your Thank books are full right now. Once Tell again. your family member to give you go find me. You know. Thank y'all, right. bro. People gonna donate. They hacked. The, uh, it was some gas station that hacked the system, and they gave everybody cheaper gas. This is the world caught, we live in nowadays. You got criminals not doing crime, chaotic crimes. Yeah, they like, just hacking a pump station. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still crime. In, I know it's still yeah. a crime, but damn, it's they helping yeah. the community. They, they Robin Hood. Exactly. Robin Hood. They That's Robin, Robin Hood. Hood. They the real Robin yep. Hood. But and it was, I think it was two black guys too. Shout out to them. I'm y'all, y'all some real <laughs> ones, bro. Because hey, why? Why not? Give we all go eat. Because why not give people cheaper gas? Like you right. got people now got a carpool and stuff to get to mm-hmm. work because yep. it's getting extremely bad getting, for them. To, it's getting worse. Like, they don't make enough money. Like the crazy thing is, before we go. Mm-hmm. The way the world is and the economy is getting overly expensive, but the the wages it's are not the same. going anywhere. You know? Like a person making sixty, seventy thousand dollars was good at one point. Now it's like, you know, I'm still you're struggling. Just struggling. Yeah, you, you actually are. You know, you got to yeah. be more frugal with your money. Yeah, like, yeah. You have before to. at sixty thousand, yo, you you, you, you know, good. You can you can splurge a little bit. Are now. you trying to go to the comedy show, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's can. like, hey man, hey, we catch them niggas on uh, YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> facts. Hey, we gonna zoom y'all Netflix. party, man. Yo, facts. We gonna, facts. We gonna zoom y'all man. party. I watched the special on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, can't I ain't go. gotta go nowhere. Else. Go you gotta be better. strategic about your driving. You yeah, got bro. to, bro. I'll be on maps, just really trying to figure out. Like, okay, right, so what's the most what's fuel the efficient best? route? Uh, okay, I'm gonna type so that in. Okay, okay. Let's turn mode, straight shot. All our goal. And like I said, <laughs> we was just uh, cause it's funny because we watched Jurassic Park after coming from the Houston Museum. Mm-hmm. And might I add, I haven't been to the museum since I was a kid, and bro. Me neither, man. I want to go. It is freaking phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yes. They got the dinosaurs in there. They got the the Mm -hmm. lights panned up towards the dinosaurs to make them reflect. Oh, it's nice. They have a little thing where you can... I would have lost some, my shit when cool I was stuff, little, man. bro. Man. <laughs> bro, I brought the kids. Little man, dude, man was enjoying it. So it was so dope to see. He was just like, look, like he didn't know which one to go to. They mm-hmm. had the huge T Rex to, you yeah, know, I can't wait to bring uh, and everything, maybe. bro. It was it was amazing. Because I took catch like what last year or the year before. We we've gone to the museum like every year because uh, she likes museum stuff. So mm-hmm. nah, it's, yeah, it's dope. She like I think we went to natural science the year before that, and then we did like the. Houston Museum, and mm-hmm. then we did like the that's when they did the body, the body works. Mm-hmm. I gotta go to that show, it's pretty. I dope. went to uh, we seen Ramses the second, okay. Uh, the Egyptian king, mm-hmm. Pharaoh, oh, got you. Pharaoh. Uh, we went there, we were able to see some mummies, mm. uh, kind of weird, a little bit too, you know. I, I bet, know. I don't we know, we something about we um, did the wait a minute, we did the, the body, person. it was about the body, and then it was uh, natural de- death by natural causes. Mm. That. It's great because you find out some crazy stuff. Like, aren't they people, like real bodies or something? No, it's real. Well, some stuff. What's is a real. museum? It's like they're actual real bodies. Some stuff is real, but um, yeah. like the deaths that you see, you like what? Like people was dying over the um, like what they had on those dresses. They had like was it arsenic or, or something? They had made what, like they had dresses like the women back. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking about real yeah. tight. And they had like arsenic or something that was poisoning them the mm-hmm. whole time. Wow, they had no idea. And then they had like. 
they That's were they had like ostriches in there, and then you find out that this ostrich killed like sixty something people, oh, uh, murdering people. <laughs> then they I mean, had another damn, one. more rogue animals. God, they damn. had a tiger. Nature, a tiger. He um a, a poacher uh shot his his tooth, and so he um ended up eating people. Like he was just he ate like hundreds of people. And they eventually took him down, and that was the How tiger the that hell? was there. He the reason why he started doing it is because of humans, of course, p- trying to poach him. Dude hit him in his teeth. He got away. And ever since then, he would just eat humans because his teeth wasn't made to, you know, chew oh. what he usually so would eat. So he had to get something a little easier. So he would go for people slicker. and eat them. Oh, he right. would take them out of villages and take them to his house and eat them. No, nah, it was dope to see something. <laughs> I was like, like yo. These museums would be dope, bro. No, they, they I definitely think they are. had a random, uh, it was a random corpse, but it was a, it was a, a, I don't know if it was a Roman soldier that was caught or captured. Like from way, Dang. yeah, and it's they crazy. had the body there, and it was just like they just said this unknown name person. It was an unknown person, but the fact that they had his body there, that's and it crazy. was perceived to be from like the Roman Damn. time period, like the, the time period. It's an old body. I'm talking about like big. But before I get to my main point, me and my wife was rolling because there was a dude that you could tell brought a girl there for mm-hmm. a date. Okay. So as me, me and my wife and the kids was walking and they doing their whole amazement thing. I'm, we're peeping him too, like just talking, like he's on telling like an them, earlier date type like he, scene. He, he kind of like being her guide almost. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And so I started mimicking oh, him. Fun fact: it was funny. I started mimicking him walking. Well, did you know? Him, and we was rolling, bro. <laughs> how he was looking, he was like, "Oh yeah, right there. That's a velociraptor." You know? They call oh, he was cool about it. Like, yeah, hey, ass. That's, that's how he was <laughs> doing, bro. He was walking like this. All right, we know he watched it. the first movie. Oh, but oh, wait, oh, they got the information on the card on the right there. Yeah, that's the early stage, bro. That's yeah. the early stages oh of the day. Where he Club trying to he trying to show her. He trying to show off in front of her. Yeah. Bro, yeah. we were rolling. My wife you was laughing. Yeah, so you don't hard. know those bones? <laughs> yeah, like this right here, this was a carnivore. You know that's a T Rex. <laughs> yeah. They don't eat they don't eat like plants or Technically they, they have feathers on their yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a carnivore. <laughs> he was, the movies he was trying to be so cool, bro. He was just walking. I was just like, look at this. Cool little museum. Like, look at this nigga, bro. We had a good time. We to get him some Just that, laughing. That yeah. dinosaur action, okay? Well, I hope it was worth it, my boy. I yeah. hope it was, because she was just, and I was like, man, look at this dumb shit here. <laughs> I, like, I ain't going to put no salt I respect you. Yeah. Go to his I support respect right you now. Tried, you tried, yeah, I ain't going to solve this game, but it, it was definitely Hopefully fun. he sealed the deal, man. Hopefully he didn't hear me, because I sure was, I was following He was in him. the back like, well, look, babe. This yeah, is a- <laughs> that's what I was doing. Anisha, I was like, well, this right here, right here, right here. You see this right here? That's a triceratops. Yeah, that's a triceratops. You know what I'm saying? Try, try, because it's three. Yeah. Yes, three, three, three horns. Yeah, yes, sir. Head. See, I didn't think about shape. that, did you? Yeah. Three. Mm-hmm. You ain't know that, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. I just taught you something today, huh? Yep. You want to go to Chick Fil A real quick? <laughs> <laughs> but no. Nah, so the point I was making is, we leave there because we're about to go watch uh, the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, seeing dinosaurs, then watch yeah. the movie. Yeah, crazy, right? It makes sense. Um, but bro, we're going right down Almeda, and it's packed. And mm-hmm. I know it was Juneteenth mm-hmm. weekend, but I'm just like, bro, where the struggle at? People out here be talking about they struggling, but. Uh, turkey leg hug was packed. Fifty fifteen, I want to say, was packed. And mm-hmm. it's, yeah. it's just, I'm just like, where do people? We complain, but if we was to boycott and we sell asses down, they might actually do something. But I'm like, I wouldn't. I mean, why would they make the gas prices go low if they know they can put it up to four dollars? Yep. And niggas is outside more than they was when it was three. Yeah. But Why that's the thing. Yeah, People were excited to come outside because of COVID, like, reducing. Yeah. So yeah. they're like, we going outside regardless. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. I will sit my ass I was like, I'm chilling. down as much as yeah. possible. I love my Xbox. And I'll go in my little vicinity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I love where I'm at. It's enough stuff around where I'm at so yep. I don't even got to go into the city. Facts. I'm with yep. it. But nah, man, uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed this podcast. It was a good yes, one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. <laughs> I, I take hope the mic y'all off enjoyed again. it. Y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Mm-hmm. y'all. Mm-hmm. y'all. Mm-hmm. This has been another ITC mm-hmm. podcast mm-hmm. episode. Mm-hmm. 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 Make sure you're out of here. Mm-hmm. Make sure you subscribe. Mm-hmm. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow. Because you're a badass. You are. Remember, honey, you're you're immaculate. Make sure you pick up the latest Beyonce album. It's going to be amazing. You can't spell you without you. Y'all. And that's a fact. We love you, darling. Goodbye. Peace out.